promised Mr. Firebird we'd come over this morning so I could show him my history report, my calculator, and my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. How's it going, everybody? Major 4x4 here, here from Major Gaming, and to bring you Putt Putt Travels Through Time. Never got to play this one. So, this is new for the both of us. Which is, uh, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. So, there may be some, uh, stalling here every once in a while. Been, you know, think what I need to do. But, uh, all in all, it should be a very fun experience. Every, looks like the animation's gotten a whole lot better, you know, at this time. I better not leave home without it. All right. Did he move into a different garage? Because wasn't the window facing the other way in joins the uh, parade? Huh. Fwang. All right. Go ahead and head out. Let's go see Mr. Firebird. Galloway and Cow! Here we are, <laughs> Mr. Firebird's workshop. I like the uh, little nod to goes to the moon. The fireworks factory thing's been crossed out, and of course it says Firebird's lab. But still, I wouldn't trust this dude. Considering he uh, he sent us to the moon and tried to send nobody after us. Let's go. Let's go find our friend, Mr. Firebird. Let's go take a look. Hi, Mr. Firebird. Welcome, Putt Putt. <laughs> All right, cool. He still has his, uh... Wait. Uh... Was this here? On goes to the moon? Because if not, then is this the spaceship that I crash landed from the moon on? I was just putting the finishing touches on my time portal. Wow! A real time portal? Where can you go in it, Mr. Firebird? Nowhere! Nowhere at all! I don't think. You see, it's not meant for actual travel, but it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the time portal. Like a TV set, only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's neat! As a matter of fact, I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great! And then I can show you my history report and my new school supplies. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to find those. Oh, what was I thinking? I need a coin to start the washing machine. Guess I'm fresh out. Hey, I think I've got something that will solve the problem. Okay, I'm guessing it means this. Here's a coin, Mr. Firebird. Ah, this is not a mere coin, Putt Putt. It is the key to great knowledge. Knowledge. The washing machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle. Goddamn! 
not good at all, Putt Putt. My calculations show that until everything is brought back to the present time, I won't be able to shut the portal. Don't worry, Mr. Firebird. I'll go in and find everything. Once you find all your things, we can close this time portal for good. Why haven't you been arrested, Firebird? You always seem to screw up! You be careful, Putt-Putt, and good luck! Wow! It's like a science fiction movie, except I have a feeling that this is reality! These must be the four places where Pep and all my things landed. I wonder where I should go first. Let's see. Calculator, report, yep, lunchbox. Yep, that sounds uh, that sounds about right. Um, let's go ahead and head to the future. Whoa! This must be the future. I wonder what year it is. I don't know. Weird. Okay, I think that makes me go forward. Chicken throwing? Some sort of cafe? This thing? City hall? And library? Let's go to the caf cafe first. Cool. Now, aren't you the cutest little guy on four wheels? What can I do to help you? My name's Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I was just checking out this balloon thingy. First things first, you can call me Miss Electra. And second, this must be your lucky day. We're giving those balloon makers away free. It's our anniversary. Makes as many balloons as your little heart desires. Gee, thanks. Well, would you look at that? She's not even going to ask, you know, or freak out that I'm from the past or anything. Whatever! For golly sakes! Let's see, we got something from there, so that should be cool. This fun zone looks great. Is that what that's supposed to be? A fun zone? Am I trying to head to this? To the beginning. I wonder what the video game of the future will be like. Eh, we're not gonna mess with that right now unless we have to. <laughs> Let's go to the city hall! Welcome to our museum. I am Arthur T. Fact, the pre programmed curator. But you may call me R.T. Fact. Hi, huh? I'm Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. 
I was hoping I could look around. That is acceptable. Please stay as long as your schedule permits. If you have any questions, I will answer them for you. Thanks! Hey, it's my lunchbox! Excuse me, Artifact. I think that lunchbox you have on display is mine. I am sorry, but I have no record in my memory banks that this particular lunchbox belongs to you. There were 4,362,000 of them manufactured in your time. But I'm sure that one's mine. It's got a picture of Smokey the Fire Engine on it. I cannot give it to you. Otherwise, I will not have an ancient food container on display. What if I found you another ancient food container? Then could I trade it for my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox? Yes, you could. Great! Then that's just what I'll do. Alright, so we need... Uh, another lunchbox or some sort of food container. One ancient toasting device, circa 1980. To get my lunchbox back. Oh god, not that thing again. Make food! I don't know about that. Um... Welcome to the Petorama. The make-it-yourself pet food smorgasbord. You may make any kind of custom pet food simply by creating the animal you wish to feed and then pressing the food button. Thank you, and have a pleasant day. This looks like fun! This does not look like fun! Why do I have a feeling that I'm gonna uh, make something for like one of the past times? Okay. Alright, let's go up here! Or did I already go up there? Welcome to the library. Nope. Firebird and autobiography. The Great Gatsby. Really? Come on. Alright, um. Well, there's really nothing here for me to do. Or at least Excuse nothing I can. Me. I'm Putt Putt. I'm visiting from the past. I thought this was a library. Where's all your books? My, my, you are from the past, aren't you? Nowadays, all books can be found on our computer. Usually, when you find what you're looking for, I can make a copy for you. But unfortunately, at the moment, we're out of paper. By the way, my name's Darian. Darian the Librarian. Glad to meet you, Darian. <sighs> He even had a dramatic pause for that, for his name. Alright, let's go... Let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and head to the one of the other places. Um... Let's go this way. Particular uh, putt putt thing is filled with like different. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Puns. Sup? Howdy do, little buddy. <laughs> you new in town? I'm putt putt. I'm visiting from Car Town, far in the future. Well, dang a lang a ding dong. That is something, ain't it? I'm Virgil Clyde. All if right. this might come in handy. If horses talked and they sounded just like that. I'd never own a horse. I, I, I would never own a horse. Period. Look at that huge pile of hay. 
Hay is usually for horses, but if it pleases you, help yourself. Thanks. It might come in handy. You never know. Okay. Train station. Junior conductor needed five cents. Does that mean I get paid five cents or I have to pay five cents in order to be a junior conductor? I don't know. If you haven't noticed, I just woke up, so I'm just like, like I'm. It's the first game I played for the day. I'm just like, why? Well, shoot them up. Chewy fruity wagon wheels. Sounds actually pretty damn, pretty dang good. Yeah, I like it. Well, well, howdy, stranger. What up? You're not from around these here parts. No, I'm not. Don't you do it? I'm Putt Putt, and I've traveled here from the future. Sure you have. The name's Lurleen. What can I do for you? I'd like to look around, if you don't mind. Not a bit. Not at all. Let's see. Do I see anything of mine? I'd like some chewy fruity wagon wheels, please. It'll cost you a nickel. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to come back when I have one. Hey, Jim Sam! Well, shoot him up. I swear on my pretty floor, Bon and I will end you. Hey, Sonny. You didn't show up a moment too soon. I'm looking to hire me a junior conductor. Pique your interest, son. Job pays a nickel. Sure, what do I have to do? For starters, you can oil me up. Why, I'm as dry as a creek bed in Indian summer. What? What? Alright, so we need to oil him up. Okay. There's nothing I can do. There, there was no oil. In, in this, in this neck of the woods. Renaissance! I must be in the medieval times. It's Ooh. a square rock. You mean a brick? That's, That's a brick. brick. Oh dear. <laughs> Excuse me, do you need some help? My, you are certainly the fancy carriage. I'm not a carriage exactly. I'm a car from the future. My name's Putt Putt. I'm very happy to meet you, Putt Putt. I'm Princess Chassie, and this is my best friend and loyal subject, Woodward. We have been out collecting wood for the blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit. We were charging back to the castle as fast as we could when I hit a bump. My wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Well, maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. Now I wonder how we should do this. Okay, Princess Chassie, here's the plan. You lift up your friend Woodward, and I'll slip on his wheel. It would be my pleasure. Oh my goodness gracious sakes. Good thing for <laughs> both of you. You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time. And I have to return with the blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps I'll see you later, Pet Pet. Bye. Uh. 
Alright! Well, we got that solved, at least. Please tell me I don't need oil for that, too. Wow, this is some castle. Yes, it is. Only the rain that rested the gates shut. We need something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. Maybe I can find something that would work. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. Like oil. I wonder... Hold on. Is... Is this the prehistoric times? Is this how I'm going to get oil? Whoa, yep. This must be the age of the dinosaurs. Yep. I wonder how I can move this thing so I can drive through. This eats me. Um. Ooh. That's the hay I found. Hey, it's a rock in the shape Ow. of a circle. Okay. Wowie, zowie. It's a real live brachiosaurus. Me screams. And who or what in the primordial ooze are you? I'm Tutput, and I've come from the future. I'm trying to drive across the road back there, but there's a strange something blocking it. That strange something happens to be my tail, Putt-Putt. Gee, if it wouldn't be much trouble, Ms. Brachiosaurus, would you mind moving it so I can get through? Not at all, honey. Not at all. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks! Thanks a lot, Miss V. Now I'm off to explore the age of the dinosaurs. Try to drive through this tail just smashes him. End of game. End of series! Oil. Hello, I'm Putt Putt. Do you need some help? Yes, but first you gotta tell me what in the heck is a Putt Putt? I never laid eyes on anything quite like you before. I'm a car, and I'm visiting from the future. Whoa, imagine that. I'm Will, glad to meet you. Say, Putt, how'd you like to help me figure out how to move this basic pile of rock? Then I can build me a bridge and go home. I'd be happy to help you, Will. All I have to do is figure out how to do it. Full speed ahead! That was fantastic! Stupendous! Putt, you cars from the future sure know how to fix your basic bridge. Thanks! Uh oh, big time problem alert. Looks like we're gonna need one more rock to finish the job. Looks like we need a rock shaped like your basic circle. Will, guess what? I found a rock and I think it will fit in the hole in the bridge. Well, what do you know? So, I didn't have that plan. <laughs> to where, like, I thought I'd need this for, like, a wheel or something to that effect. Not for this. There you go! Boom! Excellent! Fantastic! Thanks a gazillion putt! Well, I'm homeward bound. Come visit any old time you like. Woot! Do a flip! No? Okay. Well, there's some oil. I can't quite reach. Oh. Uh -huh. oh uh -huh. Look at that! 
It's an Apatosaurus. An itchy and a horribly miserable Apatosaurus at the moment. My name's Putt-Putt, and maybe I can help you. What a positively inspired idea. You could just roll on over to my back and scratch away this terrible itch. But then I'd have to drive over your head. Not a problem, Putt-Putt. I'm tough. I can take it. Just, oh, scratch that spot. Please. Do a burnout on his head. Go a little to the left. A little to the left. Okay. Oh. A little more to the left. Okay. Oh. Now go up just a bit. This is the most weirdest minigame I have ever seen. Oh, yes. Go a little to the left. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Yes! Oh, that's it. Oh, that's so much better. Thank you. You're welcome. I was happy to help. Are you saying I can go over there now? if I drive over your tail to the other side? As far as I'm concerned, Putt-Putt, you could drive on me all day and night. Be my guest. Thanks! <clears throat> I am... disturbed. Well, what just happened? Hi! <laughs> Ah. I Liam. I'm I'm confused. I am confusion. What am I supposed to do? It looks like there's an empty spot right here for another baby. Maybe there's another one around here somewhere that I need to bring back. But even then, wouldn't, uh... Wouldn't she tell me or something? There's the baby! Hello to you too, Will! So, Putt, what's a car from the future like you doing in a past like this? I'm looking for some things I lost. My history report, my lunchbox, my calculator, and my dog, Pep. You've lost me too, Putt. I haven't the faintest idea what those things are. I like this little guy. He's awesome. You the real MVP. Am I about to witness a murder? How you doing? The name's Compu, short for Compagnesis. That there is my very hungry buddy, Triceratops. Glad to meet you. My name's Putt-Putt. Hello? Mr. Triceratops? I don't think that Triceratops notices me at all. He's much too busy eating. That guy, my friend, is always busy eating. On a good day, he could go through a couple of bushes in nothing flat. Okay. What's the point of this? Alright. Oh. We're just kind of exploring to see what's what. You! What are those? Hi, Mr. Bird. Are you ready to play a little follow the volcano? No. No. 
First of all, that sounds very dangerous. Why would I play a game called Follow the Volcano? Oh, that's... That's unwise. Oh, help. It's a vicious, strange something or other about to attack. I just know it. No, it isn't. I'm Putt Putt. I never hurt anyone, honest. Promise? <laughs> of course I promise. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel much better. I have a little bit of a cowardly lion feel to this dude. Say, you want to play picture jumble with the rocks? Sure, that sounds like fun. <laughs> what type of beak do you have? Uh, which one's fine? Huh. Well. This one? Let's move that one. Wait. Okay. No. Let's move that one. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, I, I, I see how this works now. Okay. This up and that one up and then put that there. Do I even get anything out of this? Let's move that one. Okay. And then this. Let's move that one. All right, we made the picture. Cool. <laughs> you probably wouldn't expect a big guy like me to act like such a baby. <laughs> A very big baby. How big are you, anyway? Last time I measured? Uh, 18 feet tall and 14,000 pounds. My mom <laughs> says I'm almost full grown. Jesus. Hey, right, nah. We're not getting anything out of this. So, uh, which one's fine? I sure had fun playing with those rocks. Thanks, T-Rex. <sighs> okay, I got a balloon thing, a rope, and some hay. Oh, is that oil or tar? Probably, to the game standpoint, it's probably oil. Eek-a-bonk! Alright! Hmm. I really can't think of any... Anywhere else that had something that we could use. Like, there's no paper for... For the, um... 
Can I go back to... I can. Piper, tell me, have you collected anything yet? No, not yet, Mr. Firebird, but I will. I promise. I'm sure you will, Putt Putt. I have absolute faith in you. Thanks, Mr. Firebird. Well, keep searching, boy. The safety of the time portal and all of history is depending on you. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll get everything back, Mr. Firebird. Okay. Like, we need to find paper for uh the library we need to find some sort of other containment unit for to get my lunchbox something to get rid of rust a thing to get oil and all i have is rope a balloon maker and uh hey is there anything in my garage oh okay huh Uh-huh. Okay. Let's go ahead and head back in. Paper. Containment unit. A nickel? Oil. Something to get rid of rust. <sighs> huh. Let's go head back into the western time. Let's go ahead in here. Okay. Howdy doody once again, Putt Putt. Hi, Virgil Clyde. Okay, he's not gonna help us at all. Okay. Uh, let's try the general store. Hey, and howdy once again, Putt Putt. How's my little tin can buddy from the future? Just fine, Merlene. Okay, that didn't help not. Well, shoot him up. Ah, horse feathers. Hmm. All right, that helped none. Huh. I need to get these for some reason. Let's see if there's anything else in the train station. Okay, we need to get oil. It's an oil can. How long has that been there? All right, we, we got, got that. that. Let's go to prehistoric, get the oil. Should be able to help him. Should be able to. That's an oil can. That's an oil can. Okay. That's an oil can. That's an oil can. It's a rope. 
That's my balloon maker. That's the hay I found. Okay, like, can I get said oil? Now, this may be tar. That may be tar is the reason why it's not working. Huh. Ha 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 ha. Can I use this? Ooh. This should help open that rusty gate. That is not how that works. be late for story time awesome so there's that done Let's see what's in the hair oh god it's a bard I'm the happy bard Max Wellington who loves to play the lute I once thought of being a piper but I cannot play the flute Oh! Oh! Dude, this dude is spitting mad bars! Hi, Woodward! Good to see you again, Putt-Putt. You're in for a regular treat, because your pounder, Are we? my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith in the world, and that's the truth. Okay. Coming along nicely. Hmm. Okay. Still work to be done. Greetings, traveler. May I help you? My name's Putt Putt, and I'm looking for some things. Take all the time in the world. My shop is your shop. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks. Hmm. Huh. Woodward sure delivered a huge pile of firewood. Oh, that Woodward. Such a helpful little fellow. Wasn't there a picture of a dragon on that hat food, uh... Still work to be done. Maker in the future place? I think there was. Let's see what's in here. The wizard! Hello, wizard! Hello, I'm... Do, do not tell me. Ah, yes. You must be from the future. How did you know that? You are not the only visitor I have encountered from another time. My bum, name bum. is Merlin. Merlin the magician? Wow! You have traveled from a time very far away. And like all travelers, you must be looking for something. I sure am. Well, my friend, I believe you will find everything you are looking for. I hope you're right. <laughs> All right, Dan. Hey, dude, I think there's something wrong with your thing here. <laughs> huh. I'm not the only one he's encountered. <laughs> I like that little Da Vinci uh, nod there. But, okay, so that means Pep is in this. Is in this time.
There he is! Pep, I found you! Yikes! Don't jump, boy! That could be dangerous! Do a flip! Maybe I can reach you! I can't do it, Pep. Sorry. Wait a minute. I might have something that will work. You're right! The balloon maker! Oh! I was actually being sarcastic. Grab onto it quick, boy! Oh god! Ah! Bum -bum -bum. I'm so glad I finally got you back! Now all I have to do is get my lunchbox, my calculator, and my history report. So Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. Yeah, yeah I thought the rope, it's a rope would be the tool for this. Not the balloon maker. I did not expect that one. I don't like how the king is holding a joke book. Welcome, ye stranger. What be your name? My name's Putt Putt. And I am King Chariot. Thou hast arrived just in time to hear a reading from the royal joke book. Oh, that sounds like fun. Hmm. Now, which one shall I read first? We shall begin as soon as I find an appropriate passage. What dost thou get when thou sets two rabbits out in the blazing sun all day? What? What? Hot cross bunnies. <laughs> I'm out. Y'all be good. <laughs> all right, so I got pep. See, and, and there's, there's oil already in the oil can. So let's go ahead and go back to the Western era to oil up that train. Because uh, he was wanting that. I'm sure he's wanting something else that I'm having to go to another place for. A little on the wheels would be nicely. By the way, my name is Tobias T. Train. But you can call me Toby. Oh, much better. A thousand thanks, amigo. You're welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't catch your name. My name's Putt Putt. Well, Putt Putt, my partner. So far, you've made a mighty fine junior conductor. Here's your Woo! pay. One round nickel. Thanks, Toby. And you hang on to that oil can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. Thanks. <laughs> Anything else I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of water. And for the life of me, I can't reach that spigot way up there on that water tower. How's about putting that nog into work and finding something you can use to pull down that lever so you can fill me up? I'll bet I can do that. I don't like, I don't like how you said that. Toby, I found a rope, and I think it's just the thing to do the trick. I thought you'd be the kind of cowpoke who'd be handy with a rope trick. Get it! Get it, putt putt! Uh, I rope. Now I'm officially in business thanks to you, Mr. Junior Conductor. Anytime you want to take a ride around the tracks, just hop on my flat car. I'll give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. All right. Well, we got five cents now. We can get some of those uh, wagon wheels. 
I'd like some chewy, fruity wagon wheels, please. It'll cost you a nickel. Oh, great. I've got one of those. Here's a nickel for the chewy, fruity wagon wheels. Why'd you hit the throat down like that? Help yourself. It's all yours. Sweet. some chewy fruity wagon wheels please it'll cost you a nickel oh well i guess i'll just have to come back when i have one okay one cost a nickel and i didn't even need it okay all right well buckaroo where do you want old toby to take you oh wow um i guess the golden river Gold River. Excuse me, hello. Well, howdy, young'un. Hey, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm panning for gold. Wow, there's really gold in that river? Uh, uh, what, what's that to say? You want to know if I'm so cold I shiver? <laughs> uh, not me. <laughs> I have a funny feeling that prospector didn't hear a word I said. Hmm. Well, looky here. Dang blam it. It's just a bunch of old rusty keys. Excuse me, do you mind if I take these? Ah, Sonny, you can take them, shake them, or bake them for all I care. They're just a bunch of good for nothing keys, is all. You never know, they might be good for something. That works. Um. Hot just... and dry. It's the desert. Go ahead and, uh... Would you look at that? Animal tracks! I wonder where they go! Okay... Some say Putt-Putt is still going around that desert. What is the point of this? I feel like I'm going backwards now. It's oh. an armadillo! You're kind of cute for such a funny looking guy, aren't you, boy? Trude. The armadillo has a tough leather skin that acts like armor, protecting its body. Okay, I have a feeling I'm not even supposed to be... Like... Okay. Alright, Hubcap Hill. Here we come. Ooh! It's my calculator! Oh. Hey, little guy, could you throw that down to me, please? It's mine! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, he's dead. Uh-oh. Oh, no! That trunk is locked up tight. We could also use that trunk for the future thing. Which key should I use? Uh, I don't know. The one that's in the shape of the star? Ooh. It works! Excellent. Noise! I've got my calculator back! 
Nice! Now all I have to do is get my lunchbox and my history report. So Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. That means the history report has to be in the prehistoric. It have to be. And apparently I can't take this with me. Boo! Right! We're off and chugging to the old rock mine. Because we know where the uh, lunchbox is. Lunchbox is at the future. In the future. Sorry. Well. It looks like it's needed right here. Oh. I don't know. Hang on. We're headed back to Tire Flat Station. I still need a containment unit. For here. And... Oh! What did the book be for? Cause the... Uh, well... Huh. I don't know. Well, there's no paper here. I don't think. And right here, we need... He did a flip! What's this? Ah! It's Freddy Frisch and Luther! Nice. Here goes. All right. Well, I don't think uh, there's really not much else to do on this one. Uh, well, there is. There's to finish it, but right now, I mean, it's. This one, I was gonna say, is the weakest one out of all of them. It really doesn't give me enough, uh, motivation, I guess, to say the, to keep on continuing, continuing and everything of that sort. So, I mean, pretty much, I mean, I think I'm just gonna leave this one here. Uh, we'll do also the others as well. But this is, you know... Not wanting to finish every single one of them, I'm just wanting to show every single one of them. So, you know, this is pretty, this is pretty nice. If you want me to go and, like, finish it, uh, I'll be more than happy to, like, in a live stream or something. And, of course, uh, my live stream schedule is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Pacific Time, or Eastern Standard Time. My bad. Uh, and, of course, uh, you know... Leave a comment, like, and uh, subscribe down below. If uh, Like it if you go and, you know, if, if you like the video. I mean, if you thought it was enjoyable. Comment, you know, what's your, what's your favorite Humongous game? I'd like to know. Like, who's your favorite Humongous character and uh, and game? Uh, and also, subscribe. You know, so that way it lets me know that, you know, you guys enjoy everything that I do and enjoy my content. And of course, hit the bell icon to keep up with any time I go and upload any more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!